Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of Spinning Venom, aka the Venom Vlog, and I'm here with my very short friend, Joe. <laughs> Actually, Joe's, Joe's like the thing. He stands like two feet taller than me. I said, should we sit down on a stool? He goes, no, it's not going to be long. You can probably stand and go, I'm a foot taller than you. Yeah, so, and just to fit in frame. So I'll back up so we're kind of like around the same. Um, anyway, today what we're going to talk about is Venom the Mace. Uh, which is one of the worst Venom miniseries. If Whether not you like it or not. <laughs> Whether you like it or not, you have to admit, it's the worst. It is uh, in this format, is the first edition of it from the 90s, uh, which I picked up here at Golden Apple today. Uh, but it also can be found currently in the Separation Anxiety trade paperback, which luckily it's the first story, and the book gets way better yeah, after Yeah, it's that. like the book's like, <laughs> like an upward curve of, t of quality. Like, right. hey, and listen. No offense to any creators that worked on these books. Liam Sharp did the art. That's right. Liam well, Sharp's he, did, amazing. he did the breakdowns on it. He's currently doing was it Brave and the Bold? Yeah. For DC, gorgeous it's amazing. Book. Yeah. So not so much the mace. Everyone starts somewhere. Uh, Carl Potts <laughs> did not start on this book, but it felt like he did. He's Carl Potts is a talented guy. <laughs> he is super talented. I've enjoyed his work quite yeah, a bit. Absolutely. Not the mace. Not the mace. So let's break down real quickly. What is the mace, Joe? Tell me, in your words, since you just reread it. The Mace is like the movie They Live. The beginning of the movie They Live. Okay. Where... That's high praise a little well, bit. Well, where Nada is living with homeless people in San Francisco. Right, okay. So then right? it starts off in San Fran. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. in San it's Francisco. A, yeah. Yeah. Where, where Nada... He, 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 Venom lives with a whole bunch of homeless people. Right. And then he meets a guy who's name is the mace and because he, he carries a mace right and they fight it's, and, it's and then really other, subtle yeah and then other guys show up right who have no connection to venom whatsoever zero and they for no real good reason venom and the mace decide to team up against these other guys right and really no good reason there's no like no. hey turns out your name's martha my name's martha <laughs> right. not they even that good of a martha's reason. right yeah no they just start fighting these other dudes who that guy is in a Iron Man ripoff suit, which is funny because it's inked by and finished by Bill Reinhold, who was drawing right. Iron Man at the time during right. the no face mode of Iron Man. Right. And then they fight them and then the story ends. So Did Joe's I right. Succinctly no, that is that is accurately how the way to describe this story. Um, as Joe said, it starts off San Francisco where Venom books are taking place during the 90s and all the miniseries. He has this friend named Beck who she is, uh, she's like the above ground uh, source for the homeless people. She's the April O'Neil. She's their April O'Neil and everyone else is a Ninja Turtle. Mm -hmm. And uh, and so she helps them out. So she usually gets caught in these situations and Venom has to come save her. Yeah. So she ends up hitting the mace with her car because he was in invisible mode. And then, uh, yeah. Right. And then so he jumps in her car and says, drive or I'll kill you. So I think they keep referring to it as LCD mode. LCD they, mode, yeah, right, yes. Yeah. That's what they LCD call. was a big thing back then. Right. <laughs> um, and it's picking up threads that Carl Potts has actually written before yeah. in a miniseries called Shadow Masters. Shadow Masters. Shadow Masters. Shadow Masters. Um, so the Sunrise Society is this evil group that have uh, trained all these ninjas, and the only person to ever stand against them was hundreds of years ago, or a hundred years ago, and it was a guy named um, Shiguryu something. And uh, he was the only Tengu demon master to challenge them. So he died, and they took his DNA, and they cloned him and made the mace. And the Sunrise Society actually also came from a Punisher story. Was the mace in Shadow Masters? So the mace wasn't in Shadow Masters, but the backstory is told a little bit there, and it's paid off later in Marvel Comics Presents when um, I think Carl Potts jumped on and did a four-story, four-issue story of the mace. Okay. In Marvel Comics Presents, right before it got canceled. Oh, so like, like the one sixty. It was like one sixty-one to one sixty-four. Got I think. it. Um, and so, uh, so yeah, so he, so the, he had this kind of set up. Yeah. But unfortunately, in the context of Venom, it makes no sense. It makes no sense at all. Right. And the Shadow Masters, uh, the, I remember that when they cross over into the Punisher. I wasn't a regular Punisher reader. Yeah. But the cover was awesome. There was this big helicopter looming over someone. I think it's a girl. Yes. And she's shooting a, a machine gun up at it, and it, it just says, like, Punisher, like, guest starring the Shadow Master. Yeah, and then there was also one where the Punisher was uh, tangled up in a web, and there was the girl jumping down was Black Widow. Oh, okay. And Black Widow gets caught up in the story, and that was in a Punisher 
regular issue, and then they crossed over into Punisher War Journal at the time. Yeah, so and Carl, Carl Potts was trying yeah. to make Shadow Masters a thing. But Jim Lee drew that one. Yes, he yeah, did. It was yep. early Jim Lee artwork. Yep. So those characters, Sunrise Society, sh show up in this. They're now dressed in Iron Man armor. By with the way, Whiplash Sunrise powers. Society yeah. sounds like the name that like my grandparents give each other when they like all, all the grandparents at the retirement home get together to have <laughs> have a nice breakfast together. Yeah, right. We're the Sunrise we're Society. We're the Sunrise Society. We call our grandkids once a day. And we're gonna have a nosh. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, and so they show up. They're dressed as Iron Man because of the uh, bi uh, what's the name? Bill. Bill Reinhold. Bio yeah. Bill Reinhold. Yeah. Uh, so they all look like Iron Man, but with whiplash powers. Yes. Um, and they show up, and the Mace is just basically just trying to stay ahead of them, trying to outrun them, and trying to get away from them. And you learn that he is the the clone of this Japanese guy that fought against the original Sunrise Society. And Mace is also, let's not forget, trying to find a cool pair of sunglasses. He is, yes. That is a that is actually a plot point That's that right. he needs to find because his eyes are red, so his, he needs his, glasses to right. cover them. He has Cyclops eyes, but with no beams. He can only see everyone in infrared. Right. So he needs sunglasses to temper like the headaches or something. Something. It's, for, I guess. And he they drew, even though he's supposed to be Japanese, he looks just like Superman. He's with oh, the yeah. spit curl and everything. His, his costume design is absolutely horrific. It's terrible. It's yeah. the height of terrible. I should have he's, an image up on screen while we're yeah, talking. Yeah, he's got like a band, a, like a like a puke green bandana <laughs> over his face, with sometimes with a little hood over. But the so, hood doesn't match the bandana. Nope, it does, it's like a different uh, hood. Yeah, then they draw him with the, the tiny red glasses, right. he, which he steals from a dude. Right. Um, and then jaggedy then, maces, jaggedy metal coming out of his... Like, right. It is a nightmare. And all that for no reason because he can turn invisible anyway. Thank you. <laughs> it's a complete nightmare of a design. Um, and this book, basically, it starts off... There is a little bit of a story where Venom finds out that... Um, that there's a, a like some of the homeless people are being attacked, yeah. and uh, and so what he finds out is Sam, one of his contacts in his homeless group, uh, is the one secretly doing it. Yeah. So he's going and paying gangs to like hurt the homeless people to get Venom to kill the gangs, but he's putting innocent homeless people at risk. So when Venom finds this out in the story, obviously he turns on Sam and those guys, and he has to take them out. So they try to weave in a little bit of a story here that matters to Venom, but ultimately this is such a random story yeah. oh, with a random character. The homeless people at one point hire Mace to attack them. A, di a different, different group, group of, of homeless, homeless people, people. Yeah. who don't think Venom's doing his job. But then, when confronted with this by the April O'Neil character, right. they, she goes, Hey, didn't you hire him to kill Venom? They go, Yeah, but he's nothing. Right. <laughs> yeah, but he can't take They're Venom. They're like, He can't take Venom. Right. So we're, like, we're on Venom's side again. Like, that's what happens in the comic book. Yeah. It's, uh, it's written by two schizophrenics and drawn by three. <laughs> um, but uh, I mean, I don't know. The storyline's pretty bad. But if uh, if you're out there, I don't. I mean, I can't. The thing is, I can pretty much put a spin. I had to do Carnage Unleashed recently. Yeah. And I'm not a fan of that story. That's the one where it's meta and it's after the Maximum Carnage video game. So in the Marvel universe, Carnage becomes famous because he has a video game based off him. Really. And Venom has to fight him in a video game or something. It's uh, I don't know. That so that one. Good at all. That one I had to pretend to be excited for. This one I can't even. I can't. Don't yeah. have the strength after I that. I love that Maximum Carnage video game though. It's really good. That game was great. I played a yeah. ton of that. I played um, a ton of that in college. Yeah, that one's really good. So, uh, so in summary, uh, what what are your thoughts on the Mesa? Uh, uh, avoid at all costs. Avoid at all I mean, costs. At all costs. Now, but you can buy this trade. Yeah. W and skip over the story. Right. And let's see what's in it. It's it's uh, it's, it's got, got Venom, uh, it's Knights got, of Vengeance. It's got some web of Spider Man issues. Yes. Separation anxiety one through four. Right. I mean, there's good stuff in this trade. Actually, the 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 web of Spider Man issues are the um, the web of death storyline or the mm, Exile Returns. Yeah, yeah. The Exile Returns. So it's when Scarlet Spider is introduced to Venom and when Scarlet Spider beats the snot out of Venom. And that's worth it. And that's, that's worth it alone. That's totally worth it. Uh, and Separation Anxiety is the con the, the right. sequel to it, which also had a video game based off right. of it. But the, yeah. th there's a good reason why this trade isn't called Venom, the Mace, and other stories. <laughs> right. You know, they, that's right. just not a thing that's ever going to happen. Never going to happen. No, never going to happen. Yeah. So, uh, Joe, I appreciate you being on the show today. Hey, see, it's my pleasure. And I appreciate uh, Ryan and Golden Apple Comics and sharing everyone here to let us record here. Uh, this is where I get my comic books. This is where I made my friendship with Joe. It's the best comic shop in L.A. That's right. So please come down if you're in the L.A. area. Come down, check out Golden Apple Comics. And, and, and if you're on the web. Yes. And you want to hear a cool podcast, I do a G.I. Joe podcast called Joe on Joe. Yes. So check which that out. out. Which is about G.I. Joe, a real American hero. Every week we watch an episode of the G.I. Joe cartoon and we break it down in mystery science theater style. That's right. And he actually had me on the second episode. Yeah, yeah. You, we talked yeah. about fast food and like the Cobra mm -hmm. fast food. I need to have you Plot. back on. We need to be I would love some to more Joe on Joe. That's yeah, great. so I was just going to set you up for that. So if you haven't checked out Joe's podcast, I'll put a link to it down below. Subscribe to it. 
follow it, listen to it. Joe's an awesome dude. Oh, uh, Seek's the best. And uh, if I ever do an episode of Venom vs. The Thing, I gotta have you oh, back on. It's clobbering time. <laughs> he's the thing. What a me. revolt in development this mace was. <laughs> I mean, who invited this character? <laughs> awesome. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace. Bye bye.